have every right to be angry. Someone is trying to trash my reputation, my career, telling the SEC that I lied to seven year stockholders after everything that I have done to establish myself there. I understand your frustration, but if you go in there with your guns blazing, sis. No, I am not going to do that. I am going to be very calm. You didn't intentionally mislead anyone. You love your father very much. You wanted to believe that he I was going to pull through. I did believe that he was going to pull through. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, well, your attitude in there could make all the difference. Well, forget my attitude, all right? I want to find this bastard who's, who sabotaged me in the first place. I'll have a name for you soon. I'm waiting for a call back from my buddy at the SEC. You know, whoever did tip them off could have a grudge against the family. Well, they're shorting seven years stock. Either way, we can easily discredit them. You discredit them. I'm going to flay them alive. Let me know when you hear from your friend, will you? You got it. Is the investigator here? Uh, yeah, he's here uh, with the stockholders in the conference room. This was a bald-faced attempt to manipulate the Sovereign stock price by circulating unfounded rumors. Just how unfounded those rumors are has yet to be determined. I have a report that says Victor Newman suffered a serious, life-threatening setback the morning of the stockholders' meeting at the same time. Ms. Newman was reassuring you all that it was merely a minor setback and that he remained CEO of Newman Enterprises and Savonier. At the time I made that statement, I had every confidence in my father's improvement and recovery. And it turned out that I was right. So, uh, my father's out of the hospital, and we expect him back to work any day. I'm going to stipulate that I'm not going to discuss my father's personal medical history. Now, that being said, does anyone at this stockholders meeting or on this conference call have any questions? Very well. I believe we are finished here. I have something I'd like to say. And you are? I'm Deacon Sharp. I'm a seven or stockholder. I had some personal dealings with Ms. Newman, and I'd like to make a statement for the record. Mr. Sharp, I hope you're prepared to show some evidence of your holdings. And well, as a matter of fact, I brought the certificates in case there's any question. Uh, Mr. Sharp is an art dealer. I've purchased some pieces from him for the Newman Foundation. That has nothing to do with Savin Yar, and we've certainly never discussed my father's health. That's true. I have no inside knowledge of these accusations. Then I'm not sure what your purpose is in coming forward. I guess I'm what you'd call a character witness. Victoria Newman... Is a straight shooter. Let me tell you something. Every deal that we've done, she's been the soul of integrity beyond reproach. And any of my clients who've worked with her would say the exact same thing. So if she says that her father was getting better, then that's exactly what happened. And I, for one, feel very confident that my investment is in such capable, incredible hands. Thank you, Mr. Sharp. Um, I appreciate your confidence. Well, you've earned it. Hi. So this is not a formal investigation, and it may never get to that point. It's... Since when are you a seven-year stockholder? Since I found out that you were in trouble. Why would you want to help me? Well, why wouldn't I? Oh, oh, you mean because you blew that deal for me that would have netted me a fortune? Nah, come on. Vicky, I'm not the kind of guy that holds a grudge. Especially not against a woman that I, um, respect. It's just kind of hoping that this little act of kindness might get me back in your good graces and that, um, you and I could be friends. We were never friends. No, I guess that wasn't really the right choice of words, now was it? Get away from my wife. JT, don't do this. Don't. JT, I did your wife a big favor. So what do you say? Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't let me ever catch you near her again, all right? That's enough. That's enough. Ah. Just give it. Michael, 
Yes, uh, Nicholas, I just left your father and Adam. He claims to have found the traitor among us. Who was it? We didn't catch a name, but apparently it's someone your father would never have suspected until Adam accused him. All right, I'm on my way. I will talk to Deacon, okay? I will make sure that he stays away from the press. And the SEC. Yes. Do I even want to know why JT socked that dude? No. Because it's not relevant to the investigation at all. You know how this looks, right? Like maybe you had Deacon come in and testify for you because you might have something to hide. I had no idea he was going to do that. Okay, look. Well, I've been working on this deal in South America. I think you should go down there, handle it for a couple of weeks until the heat on this thing goes away. Absolutely not. Vic, this looks real bad for you, real bad. Well, it's going to look worse if I run away. No, you are not running away. You are laying low. And what will you be doing in the meantime? You're going to be taking charge? Okay, whoa, don't even... I'm trying to help you. Oh, sure, yeah. Vic, okay. come on. Nick, I will not be marginalized. Look, I didn't, I didn't know the press was here, all right? Our private issue just became incredibly public. Well, look, I wasn't trying to embarrass you, but that guy had it coming. I didn't know that Deacon was going to be here, okay? I really didn't. It wasn't personal. He was just trying to help with the SEC investigation. You don't think that his motivation was personal? Well, the SEC certainly thinks so now, thanks to you. I am in so much hot water here. I, Nick just asked me to, to step aside from Newman. I just need your support right now, but instead, I, I don't know what I'm getting. The company in New York offered me the job. I make a lot of money. I can support all of us on my own. You want me to give up my job? I'm giving you the option. Look, I know how much you like working for your father, but we... I don't know what we need right now, but this isn't working. I don't like the idea of running away when things get rough. I don't like it. Well, then don't run away from me. <laughs> <laughs>